Hi there, what I have here for you is the Rope Man 2 by Wild Country. I'll show you a little bit about it, how big it is, and you can decide whether you like it. It's pretty small. It fits right in your hand, it's lightweight, comes with this little wire attachment that's got a little heat shrink on there. I put a little paracord on the end here. Um, I'm going to show you what it does when you attach it to an 8 and an 11 millimeter rope and how it attaches. First I'll show you the teeth and the spring mechanism. The spring mechanism is really tight. It really wants to do things here so that's a good thing and it's also a curse because putting it on with one hand just ain't gonna happen. Alright, let's show you what happens with the uh, 8. You can snap it open, put it on. Now there's just enough room for this to close on this end and on the other end where all the teeth are pushing up against it here. Um, just enough room there, but there's no room for your carabiner. So what you gotta do is kind of push it away and just pop your carabiner through. Once that's done, you can literally use this like an ascender, uh, depending on how you wanna grab it, and you just go right up the rope, you know? Oops, there we go. Trying to do this. There was tension on it. I'm hanging. You can literally just push it up and pull it down if you're on a tether here. Um, pulling it down after it is up is a trick because then you got to clear all those teeth and you'll see it doesn't want to clear well because on the eight millimeter there's a lot of teeth to clear. You got to pull all that to get all those teeth out of the way and then the then it'll slide freely to come back down. Now on the 11, <coughs> slightly different. Okay, on the 11, again, I use this hole. You can do it any, any way you want. <coughs> and put the 11 in here. You got to slide one side open or the other. You know, that's the problem. They, they, they both want to move you. Pushing it up with one hand or the other, it's the same. You got to put it on there. You'll find it doesn't really close that well, but it does close. And the first thing you're going to notice is on the top side, it looks like there's a lot, but then again, it's not seated right with the carabiner. So let's pop it like I just did, pull the carabiner through, and it's on there. Now, if you look at the top, there's not a whole lot of teeth to clear, but it is grabbing the 11, and it's not going to go anywhere. I'm pulling on it. Now, to clear it to come down, it's easier because you have less teeth on the top to clear, so you don't have to push so hard like on the 8. Uh, you can just push a little bit and you'll be able to slide it down the rope. Now, as you can see, it still wants to grab the lower teeth. There's no tension on it. If I was, you know, had a real tight rope, it might be a little differently, but uh, with no tension, these lower teeth will grab. So that is an issue uh, depending on the circumstances you're in, but uh, once you figure out what you're going to use this for, and etc this could be the tool for you but that's how it works so uh, be advised you may want the other rope man that has the teeth um, the drawback with that is that it kind of looks like a gear and it has just grooves going across if you get right between certain grooves you might find a little slippage in the end i don't think uh, it's it's going to be that big of an issue, but uh, this is, this one here, the teeth grab all the time. If you want to just go up with it, that's not a problem, then you take it off. Or you just want to stay steady with it. Maybe you want to use it on a flip line uh, on your waist because it is very small and it definitely work uh, in that capacity. Uh, so at any rate, there's the teeth. They're not that sharp. They do want to grab the rope. And that is the job of the rope man. So, there you go. Enjoy.